So Raz is really, really hooked on the old memory of Peepo here. Surprised he hasn't started calling Millie Peepo. But yeah, for now, we are going to have to split up. Or at least just going to stay here and wait for us to turn on the old sterilization. Do that, we are inevitably going to head a, have to head back into the ventilation system, so hopefully you're ready and raring for a, another slow-paced jaunt into the claustrophobic world of vents. And believe it or not, this ventilation system is even more complex and longer than the one that we were previously in. Now, what does that mean for you, the viewer? It means... Ah, uh, I really have to apologize, I, I guess. It's, uh, I don't know. It's unnecessary padding, to say the least. And that's a bit weird, considering the length of this game is only... I don't know, four to five hours? Like, it, it is definitely longer than Dr. Hauser, which I beat in about 12 minutes, but it's still not what I would call a, an exceptionally long game, especially for the PS1. But yeah, I guess we've reached a dead end here in the vent. And to somehow make matters worse, uh, I think that might have closed off the event that we entered in via. Uh oh. Yeah, it seems like we're we're completely trapped here. Well, I mean, she's no peepo, but I guess we're gonna have to have Millie help us out here. I mean, she does have a gun, so I guess if worse comes to wear, she could always shoot up through the vent. Also, I I feel like it was supposed to have taken us longer to get stuck in the vent. Like, maybe you were supposed to explore a bit more, because uh, it's a bit weird that she says Raz has been gone for a very long time. And as far as I could tell, you do have to get trapped in the vent before you can have Millie do this little bit of assistance here. It's not really new that adventure games have odd triggers to progress the story, but... There, there are a couple of weird ones in this game. So, there was this computer here that Raz can not do anything with before. Your password is valid. Enter your command. There! Oh, the silly fool. He's gotten himself stuck behind the ventilation turbo valve. That's alright, Raz. I'll have you out of there in no time. Strangely, the amnesiac Millie somehow remembers her password. It's also strange that she has a password at all for this particular computer. And it makes me wonder if she's not hiding some secrets. But yeah, we got a little bit of a puzzle here. We are going to need to allow Raz easy exploration of the ventilation system. And, I don't know, kind of like the, the puzzle where we had to redirect power. This is not that difficult of a puzzle, really. We uh, we don't need to worry about the, the uh, shutter that's closed right next to him. He's not going to have to head back that way. Instead, we want to make sure and open that one, and we want to open that one. Like, we want him access into the central ventilation and... Yeah, I think that's pretty much good, so.
So Millie's job is done. Mission mission successful. So we have a few additional areas we can explore. I think for right now, I want to go ahead and head over to the central ventilation area. I feel like considering all the time we're spending in vents right now, that seems like the most reasonable course of action, I guess. And, I mean, if you did kind of pay attention to the, the, the map that was on the computer screen, you can kind of easily navigate the ventilation system. Doesn't get you ready for this. Okay. So if you're wondering how this big massive underground facility gets all of its air circulated, it's apparently via this one centralized big ass wind tunnel. Now if you're just standing, you're not going to be able to make your way down here. And believe it or not, if you manage to touch that that valve at the, uh, I guess, in the room where Peepo ended up getting killed. If you turn that valve on, there's going to be an extra set of wind here, and it's just going to completely block you, and you have to have Millie go return the valve. It's a, it's a big to-do and kind of a additional dick move for touching stuff you probably shouldn't. But... stopped air circulating inside this underground facility, so I assume within the hour that we are going to suffocate, but hopefully we won't be down here for that long, I guess. And for the most part, that's all we really needed to do down here. Though there is a very good reason that we wanted to make sure and do that. Just to see what reason that is, we're going to have to head to the very opposing end of the uh, little shafts here. We find this little elevated area and it was represented on that map and it, it's where we need to make sure and head. Because there is another available exit out of the vents. And, well, this was pretty much why we wanted to make sure and turn off the, the wind tunnel there, because if we didn't, these fans would still be blowing and we'd have no way to make our way across this, uh, this little area here. And we definitely need to do that. As while it, it does seem like just another ventilation system, this one is thankfully incredibly short. And it leads us right to where we want to go. The, con the sterilization control room. A lot of different crap in here. Big old tanks of sterilization gas, I assume. And, well, believe it or not, there is another hidden away item in here that's completely optional. But it is under this tank. And it's another healing item. Guess in case we didn't do so well with that at first enemy fight, but I don't know. We're doing we're doing pretty good for right now. Though there are a hell of a lot of buttons on this control control board here. Yeah, I can 
considering Raz, it's a it's a bit of a crapshoot about which is the best place to start with this. He's he's not the most technologically inclined. If only Peepo was here. Still, uh, the most obvious thing is this huge, you know, black metallic thing here at the end. Virus analysis. Designation, artificial ribonucleic acid. ARNA virus. Properties, retrovirus incorporating human RNA proteins. ARNA virus not shown in database. This is a new virus. Characteristics, aggressively reorders DNA of infected organism, disrupting genetic code of host. Effects. Extreme increase in metabolism of infected organism. Transformation of tissue structures. Complete metamorphosis of host organism is ultimate result. No longer human. Prognosis. Traumatic reordering of host cellular structure will result in total systemic collapse. Host organism will die. Projected mortality rate of infected subjects stands at 100% fatal. 100% fatal? I don't stand a chance. I'm a dead man. An artificial virus would make such a thing. Millie, is it too late for her too? But if a man created this virus, there must be a way for man to cure it. We must find a way for Millie's sake. Millie? Can you hear me? Raz. Oh, thank goodness you're back. Are you all right, Millie? Millie, stay where you are. I'm going to get you decontaminated. Here goes nothing. Commencing sterilization sequence. 60 seconds to completion. Use the gun. It's not working. It, it's jammed. Millie, the safety's on. Release the safety, Millie. Shoot it. Sterilization sequence. Oh. 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 Oh
name? No. Sterilization it sequence couldn't be. is complete. You may now proceed. Go on, Millie. Get out of here while you can. The military's playing us for fools. We've got to shut down the project. Don't be absurd. This was supposed to be about enhancing longevity, improving immunological defenses, but they've corrupted it. You're naive if you thought we could limit how our findings are applied. Sure, we may not lie. Now who's being naive? Any good that might have come of this will never see the light of day. We're only helping them create their synthetic soldiers, mindless killers. It's a trade-off. Think of the medical advantages. Think of the death! Don't be so overly dramatic. All we're doing is enhancing some natural genetic selections. It's as natural as cross-selecting these trees for strength and beauty. Beauty? How dare you talk of beauty? What we're doing is monstrous and deadly. If anything should happen to this facility... Nothing's going to happen. If the virus should escape into the environment, there's no telling what could happen. It could destroy all humanity. Hey there. You okay? I was worried about you. I'm okay. Glad to hear it. Where are we now? It's our... It looks like some sort of... Botanical garden. Trees. What's happening, Rez? Uh, no, Are don't you touch right? me. It's the infection spreading. It's all right, I know. That's right. Just a little mold. You you're still safe from it, aren't you? Seems so. Good. Maybe the decontamination process worked for you. That must be it. I'm glad. I hate to see this happen to you. And I hate to see you like this. We'll find a cure. You think so? Wish I could be so sure. Well, uh, I guess if I was looking for plot and backstory, there was some portion of it. It's a man-made virus that was meant to help humanity, but got turned into a weapon for some reason. And I really couldn't help but tell that Millie's voice was one of the voices that was talking there, and I don't know, she kind of let it slip that this was our garden? As if we might be the scientists? I don't know, it's it's a bit hard to tell right now. A bit, a bit early to, to make those assumptions. I mean, she has been helping us. I really can't discount that. Also, I, I really do in, in, enjoy this area after all the, all the stuff we just went through, all the turmoil and fighting and all that stuff. It's a nice little bit of serenity, though there is the underlying problem that it's all artificial and we are still slowly succumbing to this horrible virus. So we are going to need to figure out some way out of here. Obviously the way we just came is still blocked off by that monster that said something. It does kind of look though that in the center there where that pond is, there's 
something out of a hole. Maybe make some usage out of that. Now, before we get to that, there is an item that is hidden away in here. And it is a clip of bullets for our gun. Definitely gonna want to make sure and pocket away as many of those as we can get. Yeah, it's not immediately evident, though, how we need to drain the pond here in the center. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell that this stuff is machinery. But there is a button here on the wall, and it's what we need to press. Yeah, I'm not sure how you were really supposed to tell that was interactable. I mean, it does kind of look like a button, but it also... This kind of looks like a door to me. It doesn't really scream out drainage for the, the pond in the center. But yeah, it does work out for us, because you probably already kind of saw there is a ladder in there. That means we can continue our journey on the floor. Sadly, underneath the very picturesque garden that we were just in. Sadly, we run into another horrible trope of video games, and that is a sewer area. We'll say, though, for, for this particular sewer area, it's pretty short. I mean, almost immediately, we've reached that end, so we can... Oh, you might assume we could just head back, but instead, we want to stick our head underneath the fetid water. Because, yeah, we can just pass underneath the broken bits here. Now, there is some mention that it's a bit hard to walk here, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't really cause any kind of movement difference. And our, our primary focus in this room is the, the valve here. Just as it has been submerged for a while, it's become pretty rusty. But it just so happens that we have such a massive container of lubricant that we should be able to fix that too sweet. Push the water, I guess. Because I think that that wasn't supposed to be a reflection. I think it's supposed to be a broken bit of pipe, and that's why all the the water was massively draining into this area. Still, after all the danger we faced, it's nice to get a, a little bit of a reprieve. Do you hear that? We made it. Oh, and none the worse for wear. Yeah, much like the, the training we had to duck under, that was another QTE of sorts that would have led into our instant demise. Thankfully, the, the solution was just jumping upward, so hopefully you made sure to notice the, the vent above your head, otherwise you would have drowned underneath all that sewage water. Alright, 
another intense combat situation here. Hooray, we did it! Hooray! Hooray! Role playing. And oh man, we have finally found it another elevator. So that means we've completed this floor, and we can now head up one more level. Should leave only two more levels before we get to the surface. left in you. I wish I was as confident about that as you. See? It's getting worse. Zeus. Inquiry. Estimate time until the reactor core goes critical. Approximately 67 minutes until total destruction. That doesn't leave much time to get her out of there. Rescue is problematic. My remote sensors show extensive damage to the facility. We've got to save her before his transformation is complete. When he changes, he'll turn on her just like the others. This subject exhibits increased resiliency. I know. He's the first subject to have a gradual transformation instead of changing instantaneously. True. It is probable that his slow rate of metamorphosis will allow him to survive the transformation. Then he could prove to be our first success. A fully integrated biogenic unit. Your research is on the verge of realization. How ironic that he must be destroyed anyway. Further study of this subject is warranted. I recommend we retain him. No, no, we must destroy him. Besides, we don't have the facilities anymore to contain him safely. Separating the subject from Dr. Asray may complicate her rescue. I don't want any excuses. I'm only interested in saving her. And killing him, is that clear? Understood. <laughs> 